So what's it gonna cost you to become a real estate agent here in 2023? We're gonna talk about that coming up. All right, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hey, if you're a new agent or just thinking about getting into the real estate business, you may wanna hit that subscribe button down below because we talk about real estate every week. All right, this week, once again, we're talking about real estate fees and what it's gonna cost you to become a real estate agent here in the state of Texas in 2023. Now we've done some previous videos uh, about what it's gonna cost you to become a real estate agent, but things change. It seems like every year the cost of becoming a real estate agent. And so I'm gonna run through this real quick with you. So the first thing that you're gonna to have to do here in the state of Texas, you're gonna to have to take your real estate courses. Uh, you can do these online. Uh, I've I did mine online originally. Uh, so here's kind of a breakdown of what's, what it can cost you. This is through an affiliate of mine, Calibri Real Estate Express. Uh, as you can see right here, the basics is only, only gonna cost you $329. Uh, then you can jump up to the exam prep, exam prep plus, and then the ultimate learning, which will run you $515. Now back originally when I became a real estate agent, I did the online courses. Actually, you know what? I actually started out doing the books first, uh, which I quickly figured out that that was not the way for me. So I ended up switching to online. Anyway, it ended up costing me around $700, but one, uh, one piece of advice I want to give you is whatever exam, whatever company you go with, make sure you get that exam prep included in your courses because believe me, this is a, it's a lifesaver. Being able to take those uh, pre-exams before you actually take the actual exam, man, that's that made it so much more comfortable taking that final exam. So while you're taking these courses, you wanna make sure you, that you log into Trek's website, create an online account. I'll put the link down here. I'll also put it down in the comments below, but just make sure you go in and do that because each time you pass an exam, they'll submit that course, that pass the course to, to Trek and Trek will be able to track your, your progress. Now, some other fees that you're gonna incur during this uh, you're gonna you know you're gonna have fingerprints you're gonna have uh, background you're gonna have an application fee of 150 dollars uh, to trek and then once you've passed all this and you're approved with trek and you're ready to take your final exams through the state of texas that's going to run you about 54 dollars so all in all with all this here you're gonna you're looking at around 700 bucks to get started all right so once all that's done Here's where the big surprise comes to most, most new agents, including myself back when I first, first joined, is you have to join, if you want to be a part of an MLS, you have to join the, an MLS and a local board. Usually you do the local board and it's automatically, they set you up with everything. But this, it's always a big surprise here in North Texas that the GTAR, which I'm a member of, member of originally it cost me around $700, $800, somewhere around there. And it is still the same. So expect to spend around 800 bucks to join GTAR here in North Texas. Now down in the Austin area, the ABOR, and that's a, that's a little bit different. Uh, as you can see here, they are a little bit more expensive down there. So you can expect to, to shell out around $1,500 down in the Austin area. Anyway, here's a breakdown of all their, all their fees. All right, so there you go. Uh, as you can see right here, what you're looking to spend, you can just, just count on this budget for 1,500 to a little over two grand, depending on your market area and what board and MLS you join. But remember this, not only do you need to have this money set aside, you need to also be prepared, you know, for two to six months of basically no income if you're just starting out fresh. Now, I'm not saying you can't just hop into real estate and, and sell some homes right off the bat, but even if you do that, most closings are 30 to 45 days out, so you're not getting a paycheck uh, for that 30 or 45 days. All right, that's what it's gonna cost you to become a real estate agent here in Texas in 2023. I hope this information helps you out. As always, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment down below. All right, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time.